I have the Pixel 9 Pro XL here from Google. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to gain root access to this device and all others included in the Pixel 9 series. But before I dive in, I want to hear how many of you are still rooting your Android phone these days. So please use the comments section down below to tell me if your phone has Majisk or any other root modification to it. And if it doesn't, then let me know if you would like to have root access on it or not. Because I know a lot of people out there have a locked bootloader, but still want root access to their phone. So please be aware that this will work on the foldable and the 9A variants as well. Before we can actually root the Pixel 9 though, we first need to have some things set up. For example, we can't root this phone until the bootloader has been unlocked. So if your device still has a locked bootloader, then you need to unlock it first. Now, I'm not trying to make this video longer than it needs to be, which means anyone who still needs to unlock their bootloader, you'll want to look for my dedicated guide that I'll have linked in the video description below. Just be aware that your data will be wiped when you unlock the bootloader. When you are done with that process though, you're also going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your desktop or laptop PC, which I will assume that you already have since you have now unlocked the bootloader. But as always, if you get stuck along the way or if you have any questions about this guide, then please do not hesitate to ask in the comment section down below. You're also going to need to have the Majisk APK file sideloaded onto your Pixel 9 series device. So be sure that you're getting this from the official GitHub repository. Since there are some imitators out there, and I'll have this linked down below as well. After you have installed the Majisk application, you're going to need to download the same firmware that you have installed on your phone. And the best way to do that usually involves finding the build number from within the About Phone section of the Settings application and then finding that same build number from the Google Pixel factory image page. So I'll have this page linked down below and you're going to want to match the build number string to the build number string that you see in these firmware downloads. It needs to be the exact same firmware that you already have installed. So this is the firmware file that I downloaded that matches the same thing that I have on my Pixel 9. When I extract those files, I get this minus this folder. So in this folder, you're gonna see another zip file. And we're going to extract the contents of this file as well. So that file is gonna give us all of these and you want to look in this folder for a file labeled INIT underscore boot dot IMG. We want to take this file and copy it to our Google Pixel 9. It doesn't matter how you get that file to it. it could be via email or over a USB cable or even a third party app. We just need this INIT underscore boot dot image file onto our smartphone. With the INIT underscore boot dot image file on our phone now, we're going to launch the Majisk application and then tap on the install button from within the top card up here. Now you're going to select the select and patch a file option. And this is going to take you to a file browser. So we're gonna go into our downloads folder 
or wherever we put that in it underscore bat file and we're going to select that once that file has been selected we're going to tap on let's go up here and we can let the magisk application unpackage that file patch the required binaries in there and then package it back up into a new file for us so we're going to need to take this magisk underscore patched file that's currently within the downloads folder and we need to copy that back to our desktop or laptop pc again it doesn't matter how we get that file to the desktop we just need to save that file into the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Once that magisk underscore patched file has been moved over to our desktop or laptop PC, we need to reboot the phone into Fastboot mode. And I do this by bringing up the power menu, selecting the restart option, and then just holding down the volume down button while the phone reboots. However, if you're gonna need help with this process, then I'll have a dedicated guide linked down below that will help you along the way. So here we have that folder with fastboot.exe and adb.exe. This is the folder that we need that magisk underscore patched.img file. And this is the folder that we need to open the terminal window, PowerShell window, or the command prompt. And I do this by holding the shift button, performing a right click on an empty spot in this folder, and then either selecting open in terminal, open PowerShell, one of those that you see there. And you'll get this window here telling you that a PowerShell or a command prompt or terminal has been launched within that same folder. We're going to make sure that we have a USB cable connected to our Google Pixel 9 series. And then we're gonna go ahead and run the command fastboot space devices, just to make sure that we have a successful connection from our PC to our phone. And you want to make sure that you see the word fastboot here and then your serial number right next to it. With a successful connection, our next move is to type out the command fastboot space flash space INIT underscore boot and then a space. And then we're going to start typing out that magisk file that file name, M-A-G-I, and then we just press the tab button to auto-complete that option. So now our whole command is fastboot space flash space I-N-I-T underscore boot because we want to flash this file to that partition. And then we have that whole file name here. So we're gonna press enter you should see Fastboot sending that file to a partition, getting an okay message, and then writing that file to that partition and getting another okay message. Now from here, you can either make sure the start option is selected on the phone and then press the power button to restart the device, or you can type out the command Fastboot space reboot and execute that, and it will reboot that way. Either way, your phone will reboot, and you'll be brought right back into the Android operating system. This first boot back into Android should not take longer than normal, since we have not wiped any data from our device. So you should actually just see us boot right back to the lock screen. We'll 
unlock our phone like we normally do. With our device rooted using the Majisk application, you'll have the Google Pixel 9 series boot back up. And the first thing that I do is I launch that Majisk app again. Sometimes you'll see a pop-up appear saying that there is some additional work that needs to be done and you'll just tap on OK and the phone will reboot. But that's not always the case. However, look up at the top card here, and if you see the version that's installed in that line, then you've successfully rooted your Pixel 9 Pro XL. You can even get a root checker app for free from the Google Play Store. I can have that linked down below if you want. Tap on that verify root and make sure that we get a pop-up appear here. Grant root access and you'll be told that you have successfully rooted your Pixel 9. I hope this guide was helpful to those who have been curious about gaining root access to your Google Pixel 9. Just please don't forget to give this video a like as it really helps to keep me motivated here and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.